Anything that will take the place of God in your life. Chochote kile ambacho kitachukua nafasi ya Mungu maishani mwako. Is a God with a small g. Huyo ni Mungu aliye na m ndogo. If your finances kama pesa zako are taking the place of God. Zinachukua nafasi ya Mungu. If your business kama biashara yako is taking the place of God. Inachukua nafasi ya Mungu. If the time you have kama wakati ulionao is taking the time of God. Unachukua nafasi ya Mungu. Your future can never be great. Maisha yako hayawezi kuwa makuu. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. Hawezi kuwatumikia Bwana wawili wakati mmoja. We are told that you can not serve God and Mammon. Hawezi ukamtumikia Mungu na pesa wakati ule ule. Matthew 6:24. Mathayo 6:28. You cannot serve God and Mammon. Hawezi kumtumikia Mungu na na pesa wakati mmoja. It is not possible. Haiwezekani. I want you to know that we must get rid of everything that is abominable to God. Nataka tuelewe kwamba lazima tutoe vitu vyote ama tujitenge na vyote vinavyotia na jinsi. God is a jealous God. Kwa maana Mungu ni Mungu anayeyewivu. He will never allow you to serve any other God and be free. Na ha, na ha, hata wai kukuruhusu umtumikie Mungu na uwe huru. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will never share his glory with any other man. Mungu hata shiriki utukufu wake na mu, na, mu, na mtu mwingine yeyote. He says in Exodus 20. Anasema katika kutoka 20 verse 4 to 5 Thou shall not make unto thee any graven image usijifanyie sanamu ya kuchonga or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above wala mfano wa kitu chochote kilicho juu mbinguni or that is in the earth beneath wala kilicho duniani or that is in the water under the earth wala kilicho majini chini ya dunia thou shall not bow thyself to them usivisujudie no serve them wala kuvitumikia for i the lord thy god kwa kuwa mimi bwana mungu wako am a jealous god ni mungu mwenye wivu visiting the iniquity of the fathers up on the children na wapatiliza na wapatiliza wana maovu ya baba zao and to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me hata kizazi cha tatu na cha nne cha wanichukia don't be like the children of israel usiwe kama wana wa israeli who made themselves gods of gold ambao walijifanyia miungu wa dhahabu and god was angry with them na mungu akakasirika pamoja na wao so it's time to say get thee behind me satan i will not serve you ni wakati wa kusema shetani rudi nyuma yangu sitakutumikia amen amen get the behind me satan i will not serve you rudi nyuma ewe shetani sitakutumikia anything that wants to compete chochote ambacho kinataka kushindana with the place of god in your life na nafasi ya mungu maishani mwako you must tell it Get thee behind me Satan. Lazima ukiambie rudi nyuma yangu ewe shetani. Can I hear your amen? Sema amen. If you say you are serving God, serve God and him alone. Kama unasema unamtumikia Mungu, mtumikie yeye mwenyewe. Don't serve time. Usitumikie wakati. Don't serve money. Usitumikie pesa. Don't serve positions. Usitumikie positions. No. Ama nafasi. Serve him and him alone. Amtumikie na umtumikie yeye peke yake. Can I hear your amen? Sema amen. He says seek ye first the kingdom of God. Utafuteni kwanza ufalme wake and his righteousness. Na haki yake pia. And all these things shall be added unto you. Na hivi vingine vyote mtazidishiwa. Please make God your your priority in life. Amfanye Mungu kuwa katika kipao mbele maishani mwako. Make God God your priority in life. Fanya Mungu awe die ako mbele ya vitu vyote maishani mwako. Most of us we are victims. Wengine wetu ni waadhiriwa of the time we give to God. Ya wakati ambao 
tunampatia Mungu. You want to serve God the, the time you are feeling convenient. Unataka kumtumikia Mungu wakati unasikia uko sawa. You want to come to church the time you feel it is convenient. Una 